last, in the last video we added this header.php and this functions.php. I'm gonna remove this body background color red because we don't need that. Now the style sheet is working. So we're gonna create or we're gonna add two more style sheets. One is called normalize.css and one of the cool things of using normalize.css is that it will uh, try to make all the components of our website or all the elements look the same in different browsers. So I'm going to click here on download and I'm going to copy everything from here. I'm going to create a new folder called CSS and here I'm going to add a new file called normalize that css and i'm gonna paste all the content right here i'm gonna close this here we have bootstrap and we're gonna be using the version 3 the version 4 ha haven't come yet but when it does we're gonna update the, the the video so you don't have to worry and you can add bootstrap clicking here on the getting started and i'm gonna scroll a little bit you will find the bootstrap cdn and one of the cool things about using CDN is that if someone else is using this CDN and they visit your site, this copy is already on their computer. So your website is going to be loading faster. So I'm going to copy this. Copy. And let's open Atom again. And I'm going to open the functions. And here I'm going to add double p and q style and the handle is going to be bootstrap and the second parameter is going to be the full url inside quotes so we have this url that we grab from the bootstrap cdn also let's add the the normalize style sheet so i'm gonna add here normalize the second parameter and i'm gonna add here get a style sheet directory URI, then we add a dot, then we add single quotes, slash CSS, normalize that CSS. And I'm gonna save this and reload here on the on our website. And I'm gonna click here on the console. You can see that we don't have any errors. We successfully added the style sheet for Bootstrap and the style sheet for normalize. But when you're working with Bootstrap, you also need the JavaScript file. So I'm going to grab this from here. So I'm going to copy this. And you can see here we have WP in Q style. There is a function called WP in Q script. And this will enqueue the JavaScript files. Here you can add the handler again, Bootstrap, JS. Then you need to pass the URL. So I'm going to pass the full URL. And I'm going to save this and reload. You can see here, if I inspect this, you can see we have bootstrap requires jQuery. So we need to add jQuery first. And one of the cool things is that jQuery is already in the WordPress CMS. So I'm going to add WP and Q script and you'll need to have to add jQuery. You can remove everything from here. You can reload this and you can see that we get rid of the error. But I'm going to add more properties right here because you can pass more and more things. Next, you can add a comma here and the next one is for the dependency. So I can add a dependency and the dependency for this is going to be jQuery. So once this script is loaded, it's going to be loading the bootstrap a JavaScript file. Then we add a comma and the next one is the version. So I'm going to add 3.3. 0.7 which is the current version and finally the final parameter is if you want to load this javascript file in the footer so you can add something like true and true it will ensure that this is loading in the bottom of our site but in order to make this work you need to create a new file called footer.php i'm gonna add footer right here and I'm gonna add if you remember here on the header we have the opening body and the opening HTML so we need to add those the closing body and the closing HTML 
So let's indent a little bit. And the function that will uh, load the JavaScript file on the bottom of the site is called the WP footer. WP footer. So now you can save this and reload. And also, you can see it's not working. I have to open this index.php and I'm going to copy this. So we have to get, get, get header and we have get footer. So now you can save this and reload. Now you can see we have the sidebar on the top just by adding this get footer. And get footer will output this function. And now you can click here on elements. You can see we have the body, and here on the bottom we have the JavaScript files. For this, we have Bootstrap right here. So now everything is working. Now we have added uh, Bootstrap, jQuery, Normalize, the style sheets. We have a more and more, we're adding more and more content. So in the next video, we're going to start working with this design. We're going to add the logo and we're going to start working with the HTML for this team.